Hello and welcome back to another lesson with Mr. Dolby. Um, what I'm going to do today is something slightly different. Um, this week what I would like you to do is I would like you to produce an artist page about uh, Tim Burton. Now, um, when you look through the slides, uh, there is a slide which basically gives you different examples of artist research pages and how to create a creative example. Um, what I'm going to show you today is really just how to do that. Now, what I want you to do with this, I want you to do it over two A4 pages or one A3 page. So if you've got your A3 pages, A4 pages I should say, sorry, is first of all you've just got to stick them together. They're really, really simple. Just a little tip on how to do that. So you take yourself some sellotape. Okay, really, really simple. And just get a little bit of sellotape to start off with. Just do tiny little bits across so it holds the piece of paper in place. Okay, and then top and the bottom. And then basically just a longer one going through the middle. Okay, really, really simple. Once you've got that, your page should be not your page should be nice and secure. And you can get on with your drawing. So basically I've got that and I would begin to work with that. I don't want to work with this because I've got my A3 paper, so I would use that. So as you've seen from the slide, uh, there is a layout slide, I'll put another clip uh, of that in this video. Um, but basically what I want you to start off by doing is you're going to start off with just doing a creative uh, title for Tim Burton. Um, what I've got, because Tim Burton usually works straight in uh, pen, I'm just going to write out his name in pen in the style of Tim Burton. So again, I don't want it enormous, but what I've got here, just to give me a guide slightly, I have got my writing I'm going to stick on it already, so I could just lay that on there just to check where I want it. Basically, you just want to up. Now, because Tim Burton's quite rough, I'm not going to put any um, lines down. I'm just going to start to draw it. So again, just using Tim Burton's style, multiple, really quite skinny letters. Flourish. You can be as creative as you want. The more creative for this, the better. If you ever take GCSE art, artist pages are really a really important part of this. So I'm going to just do a little Jack O' Lantern head just here. I'm going to use his eyes. Just playing around with that. So there's my name uh, for Tim Burton. Really simple. Um, what I'm now going to do is basically I am going to uh, just lay out my information that I'm going to want to stick on here. Now I've got my um, writing that I've got on there, a bit of text, and the text is about him, about his background. I've got a bit of analysis of a piece of his artwork and then I've also got to put on some keywords around the image. Now I've also got a picture that I want to put on so I'm going to put a picture on here but I'm going to draw this myself. Okay, You can if you want to use your picture of your Jack uh, Skellington that you've done before and you can put that up there and stick that on. Um, but I think you know, I'm going to try and draw another version just to give you another example of what he does. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna to start to lay out my page. Um, what I've decided to do, I've decided to get some watercolors, and as you might notice on some of Tim Burton's work, he uses different watercolors, he different uses things, so I'm gonna use a lot of black for my background. So I'm just gonna use my watercolors as well, just to get quite a large amount of space. Here. So what I'm gonna do, move my pitch, I'm just gonna, essentially this is gonna be my frame that I'm gonna just create on here because the picture I'm going to do is like a wedding picture. So I'm just going to put that in just to 
very roughly to start off with. I might do actually, don't lie. Again, you can be quite creative with this. I'm gonna just start drawing that frame in. Almost like an old wooden frame. Of course, my pen has just run out, so I'm just thinking. You can let this happen quite organically. Um, I mean, like I say, I'm just sort of going with it. I'm just seeing where it takes me. Um, so I'm thinking about this. I've got my frames on the wall. Maybe I want to do a bit of wallpaper. Uh, quite again, it's quite dark, and this is where I want to maybe use my watercolour for the background. experimentation here. I'm going to put my uh, black on my palette as you can see here, get quite watery. I'm just going to take myself, oops, sorry about the noise, I'm just going to take myself a little bit of kitchen roll. Just going to put it on my palette, I'm just going to just Right, okay, what I'm going to start to do now, I'm going to draw my picture that I've got here. Um, again, just to really explore that Tim Burton style again, just to show that I can really do it. I'm going to look at my drawing now and I'm going to start to draw it. Again, it's not, it's not exactly the same start with our eyes. I apologise for my earlier uh, blurry video, but as you can see, I've now finished my uh, artist research page. As you can see here, I've got um, I've added a few extra bits here. I've stuck some of his images on there as well that I printed out from the computer. But as you can see, my main star of the show of this research page is the copy that I have done. Um, as you can see, probably you could add a bit of colour if you wanted to, but I've tried to keep the uh, the theme of the page and the style to reflect Tim Burton's style. So have fun, enjoy it, um, and be as creative as you want. I will see you next time. Bye bye.